So recovery is an essential part of any athlete's training program for a variety of reasons, obviously primarily to decrease fatigue levels, um, also got decreasing the soreness and stiffness of the athlete, but also increasing the, or improving the, the psychological state of the athlete. That's one that's easily, easily overlooked, but is essential um, to maximise performance. So the motivation of an athlete is really essential for optimal performance. My name is Nathan Bursey. I'm one of the physiologists here at the Australian Institute of Sport. And I guess my particular role here is, in, is focusing on the recovery for athletes, so anything to do with post-exercise recovery and maximising that for the athletes. So our, I guess focus in the lead up to the Commonwealth Games uh, I guess revolves around camps from athletes coming in. So we've had a, a number of camps come through recently for athletes that will go on to the Commonwealth Games or they'll be coming in in the coming weeks and providing them with recovery advice and education and sessions while they're in here. But also, uh, so that could be to do with the hydrotherapy techniques or various other recovery techniques. Uh, also a lot of education around uh, sleep and travel strategies. Uh, for athletes obviously they have to travel across to Glasgow so to, to help uh, maximise their performance on arrival. Um, we've also been doing a fair bit to do with some recovery boots or recovery pump boots that, um, that many athletes are taking away with them to, to Glasgow to help with their recovery there. So unlike the Olympics, there isn't a centralised recovery facility in Glasgow and I guess because of that a lot of our work is focused more on education of the athletes. Um, so to try and provide them with the skills that the athletes and the coaches need um, to cope on their own. Many of, them will, many of the sports will have their own mini sort of recovery setups. The travel, the travel from here to Europe definitely has a substantial effect on performance levels when someone arrives. So our sports are needing to ensure that they arrive a few days earlier um, so that they can overcome that jet lag that's caused by the travel. Um, so we're definitely disadvantaged that way, but we're also very used to doing it. Like pretty much every major competition we travel to, we have to do it. It's part and parcel of that. So we try not to um, make the athletes too concerned about it, more encourage them to be resilient and give them the strategies they need to help overcome that. Um, so with, with the travel advice in particular, we've been doing more and more of that, particularly in the last 12 months, but there has been various other things done before that. Um, and trying to focus on specifically when we would recommend athletes to sleep during travel, how they prepare for the travel, and also what they do after travel. It's, it's a simple one, just do those basics correctly, that's going to get you the first. If, you, if you've had plenty of sleep the night before you, you, try to, you, you want to go training or compete, that's going to help you a lot more than, than worrying about all the, the fancy sorts of things. So your sleep and your nutrition, get them right and that'll take you a long way.